Hi guys, Ryu here with Naritude for Blender and let's talk about reverse engineering your your bullions. This is actually a baked bullion mesh, so all the bullions are applied and we're gonna try to bring it back to a cube. So let's start, shall we? So what I would do in this case, right, first of all, I will go um, and enable my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I can't wait for proxy to come up with a, a screencast keys add-on for for hard ups, so I don't have to deal with this shitty add-on. This screencast key add-on is so bad. All right, let's uh, let's delete it. Literally delete all these verts inside, and let's actually select all this and face it, and let's uh, dr uh, drop a face in here. Let's turn this off so we can see what we're doing. Okay, not a face in here, and then we're going to close this, and we can just move it in here, and let me see, we don't need this line, actually we do, for the time being, in fact what we could do is combine these faces together, and then this cut, right, so let's just grab this and close it, alright, and then what we can do is literally grab all these, right, and simply uh, merge them. Mm, can we merge them? Let me think. Maybe we could just dissolve them. Nope, we can't. Okay, fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine it differently. Combine these faces, these faces, and these faces, right? Let's remove these. And well, this is gonna be easy, so let's simply select all of them. In fact, this is gonna be a bit problematic here because it's a bevel going on through it. Let's combine these first and these, and combine these. Go to top view and align these, okay? Allow like that with machine tools and simply bring this one up, okay? So this one is sorted, right? Let's see here what was going on. Uh, let's uh, drop one more face. Let's go to front uh, side view and let's see. So these two could be aligned with this third. Actually, you know what? It's going to be safer if we can align with this one. So let's do this. And these three should be aligned with this one. There you go. And all these... Right, should be aligned with this one. That's machine tools for you. Just brilliant. We got some beef in here, so connect this. And you can actually remove sharpen, courtesy of hard ups, one click. And then I'm gonna show you the power of machine uh, of mesh machine uh, with all these bevels in here. So before we do anything, let's just run a cleanup with machine tools. Then simply select these faces and let's unfuse them and then unchamfer them. And then let's copy with hard ups to the other side. I'm back in a cube. And this is why we're using uh, add ons for hard surface modeling, guys. It's just not just quick and efficient, but uh, doing this with Blender would take you about three and a half years of hard labor so reverse engineering is is a good practice you know to learn how to control a hard surface mesh and you're not afraid of actually committing to certain changes that's what that's why i work semi-destructively because i don't care i can always revert to a to a previous state and it taught me a lot about controlling the mesh shading um, shapes and so on and also forces you to learn the add-ons better because you need to learn all the tools that you need for these tasks so anyway hope you enjoyed the vid guys that's a quick one um, take care and if you interested in buying add-ons like hard ups box cutter machine mesh machine decal machine i'm leaving affiliate links to these add-ons in video description so you can go ahead and buy them through the links helping the channel at the same time which i greatly appreciate Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.